What's good, YouTube? It's your boy P Money. So the Blazers get a 129-124 victory in overtime at the Motor Center against the bad um, Warriors team. But this was back and forth all game. <clears throat> Pretty much led by Dane Lillard's big night where he goes for a career-high 61 points, hits a career-high 11 three-pointers, and I believe that's also a franchise-high in three-pointers made, if I'm not mistaken. So, Dame just breaks all sorts of records in terms of also having the most points on Martin Luther King Day with 61. Um, he smashed Kimball Walker's record of 42 uh, pretty much in that fourth quarter. <clears throat> and it was just beautiful to see him play tonight. Uh, I mean, his shot was on fire, especially from three. I mean, he was hitting some mid or some deep fadeaway three pointers on people. And it, pretty much every point was needed tonight because CJ was out. <clears throat> Melo played very well, but. The offense didn't really go through him very often, so he didn't, he wasn't being utilized the correct way, and especially late in this game, but the Blazers ended up getting this win, and it was a much-needed victory. Um, I started watching in that second quarter, and <laughs> it was crazy for me to start watching because the Warriors go on a 22-6 run halfway through that quarter, and it was just ugly to see. D'Lo, he was leading the way with 15 points, but he was shooting horribly and shot horribly the whole game. But he went 5 of 15 from 3, had 3 of 8 from 3-pointers, uh, 4 rebounds, 6 assists, and 3 turnovers. Alec Burks, man, is definitely a player that I would be looking out for if the, the Warriors do decide to let him go. I remember him being in trade rumors before. I don't know if they're going to let him stay or if he's going to go or what. But he's been balling for these guys. And in that first, in that second quarter, uh, to go to end the half, he went for 11 points on four, six from the field, goes over one from three, had three rebounds, four assists, and a block. Um, they shoot 43% from the field, 21% from three. Dished out 16 assists, had 29 rebounds, nine offensive, had five turnovers, and went eight of 10 from the free throw line. For the Blazers, it was pretty much the Dame Lillard show. He goes for 21 points and a half. Uh, 5 of 12 from the field, 2 of 4 from 3, had 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 turnovers, and a steal. Melo finished up the first half with 10 points on 5 of 8 from the field, goes over 2 from 3, had 5 rebounds, assists, 2 turnovers, and a steal. Whiteside finished up with 8 points on 4 of 9 from the field, goes for 10 rebounds, 2 turnovers, and 3 blocks. And the Blazers weren't shooting much better, but they go 13 or 16 from the free throw line. Um, we go 41% from the field, 13% from three. They had eight assists, 29 rebounds, eight offensive, and have seven turnovers. Um, in that third quarter, the Warriors were up by as much as 12 points, and it was pretty much um, Burks, D'Lo, and Pascal pretty much leading the way for the, for the Warriors to go up 12, and it was pretty much Dane's. <clears throat> going off for 20 points in that quarter and Blazers ended up scoring 34 total and like I said Dame had 20 of those and he ended up with 41 points after three quarters um, it was just the Dame show literally tonight um, in that fourth quarter Simons, Whiteside, Trent Jr. they all contribute to, to help Dame Lillard and his 13 fourth quarter points and he also hits a huge um, three with just seconds left and Burks ends up missing a game wooden mid-range jump shot and he ends up sending that game into overtime um, pretty much Burks man killed it tonight he went for 33 points shot 11 of 23 from the field goes 2 of 6 from 3 had 7 rebounds 8 assists a steal and 2 blocks D'Lo had 27 points, but needed 27 shots to get there. He went 9 of 27 from the field. It was 5 of 16 from 3. Had 8 rebounds, 9 assists, and 6 turnovers. And Pascal, he was a beast tonight. 
and that was a tough matchup for Melo as well. Um, he had 22 points on 11-21 from the field, goes 0 of 3 from 3. Pulled down 13 rebounds, had two assists, and a steal. So, he was big tonight. But that was all for not because of Dame's career high of 61 points on 17 of 37 from the field. Goes 11 of 20 from three-point land. Grabbed 10 rebounds, dished out seven assists. Had two turnovers and a steal. Um, Whiteside was the second leading scorer for the Blazers. He finished up with 17 on 7 of 12 from the field. He grabbed, he grabbed 21 rebounds, two assists, and had four turnovers. Mello was super efficient tonight with 14 points on 7 of 14 from the field. Goes 0 of 2 from 3. He grabbed nine rebounds, dished out two assists, had two turnovers, two steals, and a block. So Mello was big on the on the defensive end, even though he, was had, he had that tough matchup with Pascal. Because that's a, a big, young, athletic guy that moves really well. And, I mean, Melo had a pretty tough time. But, I mean, they both were going back and forth on each other. They really couldn't stop each other. Um, <clears throat> and that overtime, Simons hits a big three. And then Trent Jr. goes down and hits a big uh, layup to pretty much seal the win for the Blazers while Dame... You know, ices it, of course, by getting to the free throw line. And this was a definite must win for the Blazers. I know they were shorthanded, and it was very apparent tonight that they were. Um, <laughs> not having CJ really helped, like, really bogs down this offense. But um, hopefully CJ can get back. Reinforcements will be in tomorrow. So this was, like I said, a must win for the Blazers. And they got the job done, thanks to Dane and everyone else who contributed tonight. Um, Definitely not the way that I wanted the, the game to go, but it is what it is. I will take the dub no matter what. But this is your boy, P Money. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to all my supporters. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I'm off this.